seem to think so. Congressman Jim Jordan, Mark Meadows, and Jody Heiss want former FBI Director James Comey investigated, as well as Robert Mueller, special counsel on the Russia probe. They claim Mueller applied double standards to the Trump and Obama administrations. Joining us right now, Congressman Jason Chaffetz, former chairman of the House Oversight Committee. Congressman, good to have you on the program. Welcome. Good morning. Thanks for having me. What do you think about this? Well, look, uh, you need to provide oversight of those people in the Department of Justice. But just because you're a special counsel doesn't mean you go unimpeded. There needs to be somebody looking over the shoulder of the special prosecutor as well. Well, how come it's not done as much? I mean, look, you worked a lot on the IRS targeting scandal. That was an important case for you. John Koskinen, who runs the IRS, still is running the IRS. There was no accountability after he targeted conservatives. How, did that just fall flat? No, look, I think there is an inherent problem here in that when Congress wants to issue a subpoena, guess where they have to go to get that subpoena? The Department of Justice. That's, that's where they actually do the enforcement. There should be a mechanism where actually Congress can work with the judicial branch and expedite their way to bring these people uh, if they don't comply with a subpoena. And it, it happened in the IRS. It happened in the Hillary Clinton email investigation. This deep state gets to hold these uh, cards real close. And that makes Congress pretty much a wimp. Well, um, look, I mean, the American people would like to see justice served. So yeah, let's let's yeah. go back to the Clinton uh, email scandal. I mean, we know yeah. that Loretta Lynch said to Jim Comey, call it a matter, not an investigation. In other words, lie to yeah. the American people. Yeah, well, that's why I do have hope in the Inspector General, Michael Horowitz. He has uh, nearly 500 investigators there at the Department of Justice as the Inspector General. He does have the ability to go in and get documents and do interviews. He's doing it very quietly, and I expect that report to be in the uh, probably the first quarter of 2018. Uh, but also, I do think it is appropriate that Congress overlook the, the shoulder of Mr. Mueller. He's, he's got great credentials, great background. I don't know why he was put in place. That was the first mistake. There should have never been a special counsel, but now that there is, somebody needs to be a watchdog on that. And and, and the people that he's put in place, in fact, his yeah. team, are all Obama supporters. They gave money to the president, uh, President Obama. You know, so he's handpicked an exact team that he wants, and yet we don't know uh, where this is going. I mean, do you think that there should be some people on his team that perhaps gave money to the Republicans? It doesn't, think about it. If you're at home watching this, how many of you have actually given thousands of dollars to a candidate? And if you actually did that, you're probably pretty supportive of a particular candidate and you've got a political view that you're wearing on your shirt sleeve. So uh, come on, it, there's no balance here. These people gave thousands and thousands of dollars to Hillary Clinton or to the Democratic machine. And so do you really think you're going to get a fair and honest hearing when not a single person, at, at least as best we can tell, gave any money to any Republicans? That doesn't sound like it's a very balanced approach. So what should be done then, Congressman? I mean, you know, people well, are looking toward the Oversight Committee to actually yeah. oversee these things. And, and yet we see more political bias every time we turn over another rock in these agencies. So what's the answer? Well, I believe uh, Chairman uh, Senator Grassley will be tenacious on that. I do believe that the House Judiciary Committee under Bob Goodlatte has actually got to get engaged. I'm not aware of them doing a single thing on any of this uh, to this point. And then also the Oversight Committee in the House of Representatives. So there'll be time to do that and just calling it out on television and putting some pressure uh, over there to, to be open and transparent about who these investigators and prosecutors are. I think that's fair. I think that's what should happen. How much of a distraction has this become in terms of uh, coming up with a vote on health care, coming up with a, uh, a conversation on tax reform, which of course is what the American people uh, voted for last November. Has this slowed down the agenda in terms of getting executed? Well, it's a distraction in the media, but fortunately, I do think we can walk and chew gum, too. I think Speaker Ryan, uh, our, our majority leader, Kevin McCarthy, we have actually pushed through more pieces of legislation in the House at a record pace on very important things. We had great uh, legislation signed into law on the Veterans Administration, but you're right. Repealing and replacing Obamacare, which we've already done in the House, has, has got to be priority one along right there with, uh, with tax reform. I don't believe in this artificial deadline of July 4th. I do think going into the August recess, you'll see a lot more pressure. Members don't want to go home for four or five weeks and not have something that has actually been signed into law. I think there's a lot of pressure there. So do you think the pressure will push them to actually come to the floor and vote? Yeah, that's what's frustrating, right? The American people want to see us vote. If it fails, it fails. You know, go back right. to the drawing board. But when you don't even actually vote, that's the frustration. It shouldn't be as simple as just raising your hand saying, hey, you know, I, I'm a no. 
you, you shouldn't get off that easy. Put it up for a vote and then see where see where you're really at. And if it fails, go back. Remember, it was President Clinton pushing through welfare reform. It failed several times before they actually got it right, and it was a good bipartisan bill. As you look to change your life, stepping down from Congress, yeah. tell me what the priorities are uh, over at the Oversight Committee right now. Well, look, uh, it, there are more than 2 million federal employees. we got about 70 people on the Oversight Committee. And so yeah, everything from uh, information technology and the cyber attacks that are happening there to I still believe we need to clean up what's gone on in the Hillary Clinton email investigation and some of those, uh, the IRS, we can't just let go of those things. Um, there's always somebody doing something stupid in the federal government, so there's no shortage of material there, well, I promise it's, you. Yeah, it's interesting that you bring that up because a lot of our viewers tweet about the Awan brothers, the IT specialists that worked for yeah. Democratic lawmakers. One of them worked for Debbie Wasserman Schultz. They were fired because they uh, stole information. We don't know, and that's why extracting documents out of the Department of Justice and maybe perhaps Homeland Security and even from the House itself is still a very difficult and long process. Um, it, that is still something that is a work in motion. Sometimes these investigations will take a year plus in order to get these documents, but we have to be able to get those documents. All right, Congressman, good to see you. Thanks so much for Thank joining you. us this morning. Thank you. Congressman Jason Chaffetz there. Is House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi on the way out? Is she in trouble? Why the California Democrat may be feeling the heat after another special election loss for the Democrats in Georgia.